All right, guys, welcome back to another exciting little jaunt that we're going to be doing today. All right, so today we got to get ready for our post test. Now, our post test has a lot to do with the elements and principles of art. So, today you're going to get a little worksheet, elements of art on the back of it, principles of art. Notice that says classroom copy. Don't let these leave the classroom. Uh, on here, you got a number of different terms. Um, starting off with uh, principles of design, we have balance, emphasis, movement pattern, we're going to skip repetition, proportion, rhythm, variety, and unity. And for our elements of art, we're going to do work on line, shape, forms, space, color, texture, and then when we look up in here, we're also going to use the word value. Value is also an element of art, just want to make sure that we have all of those uh, seven for our elements of art. So, you're going to get a white sheet of paper. Now on that white sheet of paper, we're going to fold it up. Nice little accordion style, so fold in half, fold in half again, and then fold that in half as well. So you get this little book, and what we're going to do with the little book is, on, the, on one side of it, we have our element side. So in the far right corner, top right hand corner, name, date, period, first thing we do on our paper. And then on the top of it, you're going to put down the different uh, elements of art. So we have space, line, value, and then I flipped it, 180 the whole thing, form, shape, color and texture and then on the back we got the principles of art balance proportion movement emphasis flip that over pattern unity rhythm and variety make sure you got all of those down now what you're going to do with these little bit little uh words that you wrote on there well you're going to use this as your handout is handout to write down the definition for each of these kind of be like a little mini uh this is our study guide or review sheet so proportion uh, over here we got our principal side. Uh, you're going to write the definition. Then after you write the definition, in the blank below, you're going to draw a little picture of what you think the definition is. So it's a real, it's a real quick. You're writing it down. You understand what the definition is. You give it a little picture so you got a visual so you understand what it looks like as well. Uh, so then when the whole thing is done, you have this nice completed review sheet that you can review before you take that post test. Good luck. Okay, so once you've gotten all of your definitions written down for the term that you got, you're going to go ahead and draw a little picture indicating what each of those are. So let's look at proportion here. All right, so the feeling of unity created when all parts relate well with each other. Proportion, it's all about size. So on this one, I've got two little hands. Uh, one hand is little, one hand is big. Um, so that you can see the proportion of one is bigger than the other. Uh, let's look at this wonderful picture of balance that we got over here. All right, so balance, the distribu this distribution of visual weight in objects, colors, textures, and space. And this one, I got a nice sym uh, symmetrical uh, design where I have a butterfly cut in half on one side you can see all the de all the designs are still equally balanced on both sides to also show the symmetry that they're both the same on each si each side so try and create something that has that illustrates balance in that respect all right movement the path the viewer's eye takes through the work of art so how do you look at the work of art for this one I've got a fold in half so it holds a little better. So on this one, the first thing that you look at is the sun, and then as it travels around from the house, across the river, over the mountains, to the larger mountain, back to the sun. So it actually has the trail of movement illustrated in that definition. Alright, so on the other side, doing the same thing with the elements of art. So form, three-dimensional shapes expressing length, width, and depth. Uh, got a couple shapes lying down, lying down, did some shadowing around them. Uh, space, or sorry, shapes are 2D objects. So illustrating geometric shapes, circles, or organic shapes, freeform objects, natural shapes. And then color, uh, light reflected off of an object. So I drew just a real quick sketch of something and I put some color on it. So when you finish writing all of your definitions, knock out those illustrations. So I see a full 15 definitions and 15 illustrations. All due at the end of the period. And last thing but not least, do not forget to put your name on it. No name, no grade. Later, guys.